Hi, I'm Dr. Nataya. I don't just love working with pediatric patients and their moms, I'm also a mom myself. I've had three children, and after my third child, I had major concerns with my diastasis recti. We have our external obliques, our internal obliques, our transverse abdominis, and our rectus abdominis. And it's our rectus abdominis and the sheath in between that really gets uh, hurt or stretched when we are pregnant. Now this can also happen to men with big bellies as well. So today we're going to learn some exercises to help strengthen our abdominals and bring our tummies back into that strong state that we were in before we had children. And we're going to learn from an expert so that we do this correctly. Okay, so a couple exercises that we can do that can help uh, we really focus on posture. So the first one we would do is just a regular traditional plank. We want to put ourselves down on our elbows, tuck our, our uh, toes, and make sure that we're flexing our quads and we're really making sure that we're keeping our ribs down nice and tight. We want to establish that good relationship between our ribs and our pelvis. So we can hold that for about 35 seconds. From there, we can turn over, sit back, and we can go into a hollow body hold. So when, we're, when we do a hollow body hold, we want to make sure that our spine is nice and long. Tongue is in the roof of the mouth, heads up, and we make sure that we find that comfortable position. From there, we can move on to a glute bridge. So we can sit here, make sure you can maybe touch your, your heels. We want to make sure we have that neutral spot, spine back down into the mat. We can either put our elbows into the ground or we can put our arms straight up depending on our level. So to start, we can have our elbows down and when we come, up to the top, just like this, we want to make sure that we're rolling our tailbone all the way under and then we're keeping our ribs down once again, uh, re-establishing that relationship between our ribs and our pelvis right there. A little more advanced is right there. And then we can turn it into a pulsing maneuver. When we're coming down, we really want to make sure that we're trying to articulate that spine. We're trying to hit one vertebra at a time and make sure that we're hitting with our waistband last. From there, we can go into a dead bone. And what we're gonna do here is I like to use the counter pressure version. We're gonna take your right hand on your left knee and we're pushing our knee up and our hand down so we're creating that nice internal tension. And then we're extending our opposite arm and leg all the way back, a nice smooth coordinated effort. Making sure we're getting nice and close to the ground without touching. We do that on both sides. And then last but not least, we can go into a bird dog. So once again, we're going to be going contralateral. So that's going to be opposite arm, opposite leg. We're going to make sure that we have ourselves in that nice position. And then we're going to nice and smooth extend that arm and leg. Now we don't want that leg to go up because you can see what that does to the curve of my back. So we want to keep that leg nice and low. And then we'll bring our hand in, touching our knee, re-extending so we're creating that nice long straight line between our arm and our opposite leg. So there's some good movements. What do you think? It feels good and it's fun and I feel like my abs are coming in instead of poking out. It's so much better than just trying to do sit-ups. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. You're